Hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're well. Today we're going to be looking at the spider plants, taking care of it, nurturing it, um, and just enjoying it. It's such a beautiful, beautiful plant. Um, very good for the hanging baskets. It can be outdoor or indoors. Um, I think it's just an amazing plant. I absolutely love it. I know I say this about most of my plants, or all of my plants, that I really love them. Unfortunately, this one has not been receiving some tender love from me, and so it doesn't look well. And this can happen if you have been busy, you've been away, traveled. Um, there are many reasons why you may have neglected your spider plant, and your spider plant begins to look like mine, you know, really unhealthy. Um, Although it's green, this is a variegated one, although it's green and white, it's not as rich as I know how rich this plant can look and it's not as rich as it should look. Before we tidy this up and make it look good again, let's talk about how to care for it. Now, like I said, spider plant is such an easy plant to grow and manage. It does take good care of itself. Um, it doesn't need to repot it too often. It can manage its roots. It likes uh, root bound. It likes being root bound, so it will just coil itself around the roots, whatever pot you put it in, and it will survive in it. But this one that I have, I want to repot it. I want to. Take it away from the pot where it is at the moment. I will show you. Yeah, this is where it is. You can see it is so root bound and so tight. I'm going to take it out of this pot and put it in a bigger pot, not too big because I don't want it to grow bigger than the verse that is in. Um, I'll show you where I have it. I have it in this orange pot. This is orange verse. Before I was placed at kitchen window and um, I didn't think he had enough space to do his thing and so I moved it to the bathroom and it's, you know, I only moved it to the bathroom about a week ago um, and now I want to tidy it up because before moving it from the kitchen window it was looking like this and I, I kind of forgot it. I was tendering other plants I forgot this one. So, yeah, so let's talk about care. Let's talk about care. So caring for it um, like most plants or every plant, when you water it, don't let it sit in water. And um, you water it once it's dry, so you let it dry between watering. Uh, most plants are like that, they do better when you allow them to rest from the water and then you water it again. Spider plants can also grow in water, so you can put spider plants in a glass jar. So beautiful. You can put spider plant in a glass jar with water. And even though we said don't let it sit in water, you can actually grow spider plants in water. It will stay and it will do well. It will flourish. You know, without soil, just water, it will flourish. Feeding. I wouldn't suggest feeding it too often because it does grow quickly. It grows really fast. Just watering it and making sure it has enough sunlight, it will grow very rapidly. It will grow very rapidly. So if you don't want it to grow too fast, um, put it in a small pot, so don't put it in a, in, a, in a, don't plant it in a planter that is too big and also don't overfeed it, don't feed it too much, so you can feed it once a month is fine, feed it once a month, it will do well, it will love you and when you find it having, let me just turn this around, this is a sign of dryness, you know, it's really dry and it's stabbing. So I have stabbed this one, that's why it's like this. When it starts having brown tips like that, that's a sign of, hey, I'm dry, give me some water. This is, I am dry, give me some water. I need some water. And depending on how much light it gets, you will see the richness of its color. So without taking too much time um, explaining and sharing with you, I'm going to tidy this up. And when I mean tidy it up, I'm going to take out all the dried leaves and uh, this yeah if you don't know what these are these are it's uh, babies you know there's babies and 
if you want to propagate it, if I want to, if I wanted to propagate it, I will just cut this, the scissors, and put it in the soil, and it will grow. Um, but I like it when it dangles. I like it when it all hangs down. Um, for this particular, because I'm tidying it up, I might even cut this out completely. And it does have flowers, so you can see it does have flowers. It brings up white flowers. Um, if I want to change the soil, I would soak the entire base root in water because the way the way the spider plant roots grows, it's very um, not tense. The word is not tense. It's it's thick, you know, and it holds together and it has these little bublets. These little they look like little potatoes um, in in the roots. So if you want to like change the soil you just have to soak it in water to loosen it up a bit because it's very thick and very hard I'm just tidying this up taking out all the dry leaves honestly your plants will thank you when you do this when you take out dried leaves from your plant whatever plant it is whether it's a spider plant any plant at all it will thank you. You will see the goodness of your plants. For flowering plants, you deadhead them. You know, when, once they have flowered, you deadhead in. I did a video on deadheading. I'll put a link so that you, you can watch that. This one looks new. So that one looks quite new. So I'll leave that one. I've taken out the other ones. Broken leaves, surrounded leaves, and cutting them out. Wounded leaves and broken leaves. So, I might still take out some more, but at this point, what I'm going to do now is, because it is so dried, I'm going to try to squeeze, let me see if I can turn out the soil. So the mix here, the mix here is um, this perlite in here, and there's some backs. Some bags are in here. I'll show you what I mean. Perlites and bags. Here. Yeah. And perlites. So I'm going to just turn this in and then see. So, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to change the pot. You can see the root is root bound and the roots are already coming out of the pot. Um, although spider plants like being root bound, they like being root bound, but this one, I want to change it. I think it will also make it happy when I give it a new root. I might also cut, cut the roots down, just trim it a bit once I get out of the pot, so it grows new roots and it, it, will, help, it will be happier and healthier. So let me do that. 
it's very firm. I'll soak it in water and then come back. So while I was editing this, I decided, you know what, well, why don't I just make it a part one and part two so that those who are interested in how to care for a spider plant can watch the part one and those who are interested in how to report a spider plant um, can watch the part two. So if you're interested in watching um, the part two of how I report it um, and what I did with the roots, um, I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.